Welcome to Hit The Zone. I'm here at Red Zone X with Matt. Matt, an important part of working out is stretching, and today we're gonna to go over some of those. We are, we got a couple moves we're gonna to do today. So what are we stretching? So we're gonna look at if your hips are really tight, or if your back's bothering you, hamstrings, that type of thing. We're gonna look at four moves that you can do to kind of add to your routine. So what we're gonna do is um, <clears throat> a couple rolls with the foam roller, which most gyms have them. If not, you can go pick them up around town. Uh, the first one we're gonna use is a glute Roll. So okay. basically, I'm just rolling on this, moving around. Yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to extend this leg flat, and then you're going to kind of bend this one. You're going to lean over to that okay. downside, so you can kind of roll that glute on the outside. And you're just going to look for something that's tight, mm -hmm. or maybe like a knot, that type of thing. And you're going to just try and maybe roll 15 to 20 times on that, and try, you're trying to break that up. Right. Right? And then you would switch. Switch and do the other one. That's okay. right. Okay, so now we're trying to work her right hip. So she's gonna bend this, oh. she's gonna place it on the roller. So now that opens up that hip joint, so now she can roll that whole hip flexor. You feel that? So you shouldn't have to roll no, too like, far. You don't have to roll very far. I'll no. So we first started with the foam roller, okay? But sometimes we can't get as deep as we need to to help release those tight muscles, right? In the hips and the glutes. Okay. So we're gonna use the cross ball or tennis ball. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give that to you. What we're gonna do is the pin. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna slip that lacrosse ball under her butt, and what she's gonna do is plant her foot, and now she's gonna move that knee in and out while she's leaning into that lacrosse ball. Yeah, not too much. So you're flossing, there we go, and you're moving in through that range. Is it painful? Yeah. Yeah. Does that mean I'm doing it right? <laughs> yes, it does. Now she's gonna bend the foot. Okay, now she's gonna lean over a little bit that way. That way? More. Okay. So now what she's gonna do is move that lacrosse ball to the outside of her glute, and now she's gonna do something called a floss where the knee comes down and she opens up, leave this one down, and she's gonna actually floss that hip joint and that glute. So we're hopefully finding some new mobility in there. Yeah. Right? I can feel that. Yeah, I hope so. Well, Matt, I recognize this one because I did this when I hurt my back. Yes. Uh, all you need is a band and something to anchor it to. So that could be a railing or something like that. That's right, yeah. It's something at home, most people have railing. Right, so or if you're in a gym, a rack. Yeah, a power rack or a squat rack, whatever you want to call it, is you just need an anchor point. Okay, okay. so this is around my foot. Yeah, so this is a, this is a pretty thick band because you want enough tension, and I'll explain why, but it can't be a light band. It has to be fairly thick. Okay. Okay, and you're just gonna slip your foot through, okay? So now you're gonna move back, push back. So the reason she has to move so far back is because she wants a ton of tension in here. So go ahead and lay down, Jen. So she's gonna bend this leg, and all she's gonna do is relax her toes. Prevent, like, hopefully this band doesn't come off, right? So she's gonna relax, leaving that toe straight up. And what we're doing here is we're trying to create space in this hip capsule here. So what happens is if we're, Typically runners get this more, but if we're like an athlete and you're jumping, any kind of pounding where the leg is going up into that hip capsule, what happens is sometimes it gets stuck. There's not a lot of room for that hip joint to move, so it gets pinned and stuck. So this is a way that we can help release and create more space with that femur head that's in there. Well, Matt, this kind of reminds me of a rear foot squat. I hope you're not making me do those again. No, we're not gonna do them today, but we are gonna do a very similar stretch to that. So the positioning is actually the exact same, but we're gonna treat this as a stretch, right? So we have a rear foot squat stand. You can use a bench, or if you're at home, you can even use like a couch or the end of a chair, or something like that. But what you need to be careful of is, like the other video that we had, the knee and the hip are in line with each other. Right. Right, and so you all you're gonna do, yeah, you don't wanna lean forward. What all I want you to do, Jan, is sit up nice and tall and push your hips forward, and she's gonna hold that position. So what I'd say is probably anywhere from three to five minutes per oh. leg. Really? is what I would do for that. Yeah, because those hip flexors and the quads get so tight because they get a lot of volume when we're doing training or even just walking. So normally you would switch legs and you do it on the other side as yeah. well. We don't have three to five minutes to do that right now. So no. just if you are doing that, I'll make sure that you do it on both sides. So Matt, we showed some people some great stretches for your hips and hip flexors and it's something that I think everyone should be doing. I think so, yeah. Okay, so keep watching everyone. There'll be more coming up on Hit The Zone.